AcronHipHop.com, the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com. Mr. Smith, you in the building today. I'm in the building. You always in the building. Hey man, one thing I like, man, is you take marketing, positioning your music and your brand in the marketplace serious as hell. I'm trying, man. You like McDonald's. You like uh, uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. What makes you think, and why is that important to brand your stuff? Uh, I mean, brand awareness. That's how you get yourself out there, you know? And uh, I was working, or I am working with someone, uh, and actually learning more about Instagram and uh, just just how it works, man. It's interesting. It's interesting. I can't, you know, I can, you know, I feel a it. couple of jewels, but hey, everybody hey, got to get it hot, you know. That Instagram you is kind of your research. Hey, man, with me when I when I was I got an Instagram, but I don't use it that much. Uh, I noticed the same damn people on Facebook. Clip. It's the same people for me, cause we we do a an extreme Akron feed, AkronHipHop.com. So. We kind of want to just promote to this particular location. If you're Coca-Cola or McDonald's and you're trying to reach the black or an Ohio demographic, you have to come talk to the black media here, which is the black man sitting before you, Hiram my king. But this black man sitting in front of you is Mr. Smith. He's an educator, a teacher, and I would say most importantly, but to the second degree is as important, he's an MC. I'm going to say that again. You are a rapper. Tell somebody what's going on. What's, ha what's happening today? Man, everything. Actually, I, sh I just got off work not too long ago. I had my dude make a beat uh, for something I'm working on. I'm always working. So I got an album coming out. I don't even know when with my homie D Hart. Shout out D Hart, Breakfast Bars too. Uh, it it's going to be hot. It's a track on my SoundCloud that's, uh, that's, that's actually getting promo right now and it's getting some real good feedback. So that uh, Ladies Lyrics just dropped today Stay on, on digital media. So, you know, to, to show my versatility and to try to obtain more female followers and fans. Uh, I dropped the album for the ladies, so a five track joint called Ladies Lyrics. Uh, it will be on everything, but I know for sure right now, today is the first day, and through my digital dis uh, distributor, it's on uh, iTunes, and uh, uh, iTunes, and I can't even think of the other one. Look. If it's digital, you can get it. It's, on, it's gonna be on everything, though, well, most definitely. Well, listen, since you're talking about the sisters, we have never done this before, with you. Yes, sir. For you MC, right? Yes, sir. Give me a verse. Give you a verse from that, from that particular product. Come on, baby, dance with me. Let the night roll. You two had like a Tamale. Love wedding ring, then a family. From the outside looking in. Real love, no fake love. That's just pretend. Your beauty inside and outside. Make them look again. My rollie like Michelin. Sunshine glistening. Intentions is genuine. We can build it, get Benjamin's trips to Italy, Switzerland. Then get back on our grid again and grid again. Get on You're you. well worth the praise and the time. My sun shine like the rays in the sky. Damn, that's funny. I actually wanted to spit something different, though. But that, man, nah, you know, you can't spit, bro. That's just what came to my brain, and so that's what I spit for. So, hey, man, man listen, man. You're one of the dopest rappers in Akron, Ohio. Uh, Somebody got to tell you. And it ain't just because you're sitting in the chair. I, I was just telling that. my, my, my uh, I'm going to say my lady, okay? Mm -hmm. I was just telling my lady, like, this dude is one of the dopest rappers in Akron. And you rap like you're from New York. Man, I appreciate that. He got the that. East Coast flow. Hey, yo, Brother Bell, he got that New York flow? He got the New York flow. That New York flow. But it's dope. It's original, though. Oh, no, you good. You good, you know? man. I appreciate that, man. I mean, but you do business out in Detroit. That's where the real hip-hop is from, anyway. So. Yeah, man. that's right. So give me um, uh, how you hooked up with uh, you the Jay Dilla thing. I saw, mm -hmm. Did I see the video? I think I saw the video. Yeah, you seen the video. Now, you it's working a sick, lot. man. You working a lot of videos, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the yeah, hell? Yeah. I mean, are you working videos from yesterday or just all new stuff? Man, I just have a. I'm just my my work ethic is uh is just is just your it's, work ethic is ethic. It's ethic, man. I hey, just I'm do a lot. I'm always working. Um, yeah, no, that sick video is is my newest video that was shot around like December. I'm actually working on a video finishing one Sunday, but um, it's crazy how that even happened. Like essentially, though, when I was the director of the TNBA, we had a tournament in Detroit, and for whatever reason, I believe Saturday it was it was Saturday night. I Googled Jay Dilla, uh, things in Jay Dilla's memory. Well, to make a long story short, I seen that he had a donut shop. Now, they had closed at that time, and they wouldn't open again until Tuesday. Now, I was only staying there until Sunday. So, when I got back to uh, when I got back to Akron, um, I was at school. I remember, I think, on my lunch break or an off period, and I called or I emailed uh, his uncle. You know what I mean? And so, I just continued to, uh, to reach out to him. Ended up going there one time with my daughter before I went to Missouri. 
And uh, to make a long story short, we eventually developed a relationship. I put some things together and, you know, I was given, you know, permission to be able to shoot that video in his legacy. But I also showed them what I was trying to do with it as well. And not trying to get clout off someone's name. Okay. It was more so homage. You know what I mean? Oh, that's dope, um, man. That's so. dope. I like that, man. And it's real. So listen, man, um, you know, I would be whack as hell. If I didn't bring up what you do doing your day job, I hit right, on right, it. Right. But I got to bring it up. This right. brother right here, man. When I say you a teacher, you a real teacher. You yes, are sir. fashioning and molding the next yeah, generation man. of our people. Yes. You at book though. Yes. You at the what's the other side? Is I'm it? at the middle school. It's yeah. the high school and the middle school are put together. I'm an intervention specialist, essentially, which is a special ed teacher, and so I work with all the students, most definitely. But uh, my focus is supposed to be students with disabilities. Name one so, disability right. that that they say they have. Uh, of course, the ADHD. Okay, now, Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know who that is? Oh, yeah, I know who that he is. He says, that's not real. They just need some discipline. Right. What do you think? Man, I got a song I got a song called High Off Life on musical motivation that basically answers your question. Somebody um, need to get that, right? Yeah, yeah. And you need to get that because it actually, it, it just dropped volume two. Uh, volume <laughs> one is on the process of dropping. But... Uh, even through my experience working with them, I'm going to have to agree with them. Um, I just think it's just all about channeling energy for real. And they've got to figure out how to channel that energy properly. Now, it might be different for everybody. Of course, it may di be different for a boy than in a, uh, compared to a girl. But it's really just all about focusing and channeling, cha channeling that energy. I mean, uh, so, so hold, do, 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 I mean to cut you off. Yes, good. I, did. I meant to cut you off. You're good. But I mean no disrespect. No, you're good. But they already peeled up, though. And that's, and, that's, and that's the other hard part about it because, you know, their their body and their brain and just everything, they're so immune to that medicine. And then sometimes when parents may become educated or for whatever, for whatever reason want to get them off, now it's like, dang, the child is used to that medicine, they ain't getting it. So they might just fall asleep or be, you know, lethargic some days. And so or, who knows? Oh, most definitely, bro. Who knows how that medicine might affect them not getting it as well as getting it and being on it for a certain period of time. So. From my experience, I, I would have to agree with Dr. Umar, you know. Man, that's great, man. So they pretty much, uh, and you don't have a wild class or nothing like that, all that stuff that they well, say? Well, I mean, I'm pretty stern, and, and I, I only care about learning. And I think may, uh, maybe being that the students are, are kind of young, they're not at the high school level, and they're still trying to find themselves, I don't know if they understand that, but that's basically where I come from. And it is by no means is any disrespect to, to any student or whoever. But it's like, if you're not there to learn that day, I'm sorry. I got to get these students who are here to learn and we got to move them up. You know what I mean? Word is so wrong, that's man. where I come from as a teacher as far as working with not just students with disabilities, but all students. I mean, I'm just really passionate not only about music, but education. Man, that's dope. That's what I like about you, black man, so. that you representing and you definitely... Is one of the positive images that we we ain't got to paint you. You dripping, you, baby. Sir. We ain't got to paint you. You already painted. Listen, man, tell somebody about the album that you're working right now and the one that just came out. Let's the, talk about the one the, you're working right now. The one I'm working right now with Musical Motivation Volume 2 just dropped. Uh, it's 11 tracks. Uh, it's all motivational, in my opinion. Not one curse word. Lyrics and beats and everything sonically is there, lyrically is there. Uh, then I'm waiting on Musical Motivation Volume 1 through my distributor to clear and drop as well. And then I also released Lady Lyrics. So I, I essentially dropped three albums in a, in a very short span of time. You told me that at the uh, turn of the year you was going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Man kept his word, man. Listen, man, yeah. somebody want to get in contact with you, check you out. You're already on AkronBuff.com. Tell somebody else how to follow you, baby. Most definitely. Well, I'm on IG, Instagram, and my name is, I'll spell it, it's Kimani, and it's spelled K-I-M-A-N-I. Three three zero, you know that's the area code. Akron, Blackron, with my homie call. You better you say it, don't do that. And I'm on uh, I'm on Facebook as well. Kimani, K I M A N I Smith. That's the real government, not all caps though, because my name all that I got. Ha! <laughs> if you follow the support EP, and, and you might get that <laughs> little little subliminal. And then also I'm on Twitter, Kimani three three zero as well. So and you have a, a social media team. Uh, I don't have. Uh, yeah, kinda, you did, you I, I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm working. <laughs> I actually need to call him, but yes, I'm working with someone on the social media side, uh, specifically IG. So that's dope, man. Listen, yeah. man, I, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping by. Most dead. The capital of Blackburn, Ohio. AkronHipHop.com. Yes, the reporter newspaper online.com. Mr. Smith, have some fun. Get some done. Peace.